Hello friends, this is Panky. Hey, in this video, I am going to describe the best method to compress your files and folders. And believe me, this is the best available software for the files. Now, why best? <laughs> you can get the answer by visiting on my website www.sharingpanda.com, where I already have compared all the com file compression softwares with in details. And the application I am going to share comes as a winner. I know you might. Uh, well, uh, let me tell you clearly that application is 7GP application I am going to use. Now you all might be thinking that uh, most of you already use 7GP application. So what's the difference I am going to tell you? Yes friends, there is the difference and the difference is the method we use to archive any file. Well, let me start. So friends, uh, select a file or whatever you need to compress means archive. Right click on that file, select 7zip and click on add to archive. Now the trick is here, now you need to select the tar format instead of 7zip format and simply click on ok. Let me show you practically first, uh, here is a folder on my desktop, uh, its name is media files, let me open this folder for you. As you can see 4 jpg files are lying here, 2 mp3 files and 1 video file is here. Let me close this folder now. Uh, I'm clicking. I'm simply going to properties just to show you the folder size and the current folder size is 36.1 MB. Let me note this down for records. Okay. Now, uh, again, let me right click, click on 7zip, and clicking on add to archive. Uh, a new 7zip dialog box is open. And the trick is you need to select the tab format, okay, and simply click on OK. As you can see, one more new file has been created here. Its name is mediafile.tar, okay. So the next steps are now again uh, right click on tar file which has been created by your previous action select 7zip and add to archive again now select 7zip format and click on ok so simple let me right click on this file go to 7zip and add to archive now simply select the 7zip application format and click on ok it's again being processed and one more 7zip formatted file is here now uh, as we saw the actual folder file uh, size is 36.1 mb and now the compressed file size is 15.3 mb it's really impressive almost half of the file size let me copy this file size and compare on the notepad See friends, this is more than half. This is amazing. Well, uh, let me tell you what actually was done here. Why did I ask you to convert the file into tar format before the 7zip format? This is the actual trick. So, <coughs> let me explain with an example when we de decide to, uh, for example, the example is so simple. Uh, when we decide to gift an item to, an, uh, to anyone, we first get this wrapped properly. So that it can increase the look of the item as well as it can protect the item from getting damaged, right? Same before applying 7G format, if we apply tar format on any file or folder, it actually works like wrapping and increase the functionality of the application. One more thing friends, it keep your files safe with an extra protection layer. So when you, uh, when you wrap any file or folder, it increased the functionality of 7zip and that's why 7zip is able to compress with such higher rates. Well friends, that's it for the day. Hope to see you again. Bye bye.